Late night legend Jay Leno is blasting Jimmy Kimmel, saying he's not a nice guy at all. Leno rips into Kimmel saying, I think he's talented, I think he's funny, but he's got a mean streak, and I think that's the reason he's in third place, and I think that people sense that. It's time now for our beloved holiday tradition. Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, I told my kids I ate all their Halloween candy. Leno points to Kimmel's Halloween prank, where parents pretend to eat their kids' candy. Daddy and I ate all of your candy. <laughs> Appearing on the Today Show, Leno says he's no fan of Kimmel's and was fed up with being mocked by Kimmel, who once dressed up like Leno. There's one host who's been kind of tough on you, and you've kind of, you know, given back a little to Jimmy Kimmel, saying that he's a little on the mean side. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I, I think he comes from radio, where you, where you come from that era where you, you, you find some an enemy and then you, you make up a phony uh, battle. I, I never had any problems with the guy, but he chose to go after me. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome to show business. On The View, Joy Behar tried to ask Leno about the feud, but Leno didn't want to talk about it. There's another one you don't like, I heard. Hmm? One of them that you're having a fight with. <laughs> I'm not having a fight with anybody. Leno also takes aim at his other former late-night rival, David Letterman. Both former TV titans declined to appear on each other's final show. I didn't do his show because I had asked him to send a 10-second tape or something to do our show. And he declined, so I said, okay, it should be about... Was there a response or no response? There was a decline or there... No, he didn't, he didn't want to do it. That's fine. So there was no reason for me to do that show either. Leno does have high praise for Jimmy Fallon, who replaced him on The Tonight Show. He even made a surprise return Tuesday night. Jimmy is closer to Johnny, I think, than anybody. I think Jimmy's really done a terrific job. Oh, I tell you, the economy is so bad in New York. On Park Avenue today, I saw a woman with real breasts and a fake Gucci purse. You never see that. You never see that.